Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, I am in the OG setting of like the beginning days of my YouTube because I'm out here visiting my parents. So why not film a couple of videos here just to, you know, bring back old times. I am so excited to do this video. You have no idea because your girl has got product. We're just gonna get into this video and I'm just gonna show you what all the product looks like and you're gonna judge. So yeah, let's do it. Okay, so the first product I'm gonna be trying out is the Fenty Beauty Primer. Okay, so this primer is more of a kind of lotion-y texture rather than the matte type primer, but it feels more moisturizing and hydrating than the dry matte type of primers that I have said before that I think I prefer these more because my skin's already like a bit dry so I can't be like just dry drying dry you know what I mean <laughs> my long wear Fenty foundation. I feel like this is sucking up all the product and this is really wasteful so let me just go back to my old ratchet blender. So I'm gonna go into my perception palette and I'm gonna use these two colors which are shade and played out. Recently I've just gotten into trying to use different shades rather than putting a shimmer in the middle. I'm just going to base my middle section with a lighter color because I find that when I try to put the orange and distinguish colors it looks very similar so I need a base color to kind of make it pop. when girls who are similar in complexion use it and then I have a Fenty shimmer stick so we're gonna see how this is gonna look because I haven't used it I don't know how to use it <laughs> product goes a long way, I can tell you that much. So as you know, I don't like to leave this to bake, so I'm just gonna blend it in and see what happens. So the difference I can tell now from the other, from the Revolution setting powder, the banana powder, is this one is not as light. I don't like when, you know, I had to use very little of the other one to, you know, not make me look like a ghost. So this one looks pretty good. I think it suits my skin so much better. And then this is my favorite mascara. It's Maybelline um, Great Lash. I tend to like more towards the thicker side of mascaras than thin. So I don't like when mascaras make my eyelashes very fine. I like when they a bit thicker and have more volume. Not necessarily like lumpy and you know 
funky type of look but just so you can actually see my eyelashes pop oh this sash about a listen it is just doing all sorts of set on my face i'm loving it see how my eyelashes be popping and we got our shimmer stick thingy so i'm not how to use this oh. well damn oh oh shit what do I do let me read the instructions so they don't seem to be any instructions by the way this is the rum color so I'm just gonna have to wing this you know so it's actually, you know, I thought it was going to be like more of a liquidy texture, but it's quite nut. So when you apply it, it's not like it's rolling on me. It's literally just like dropping product, I guess. Ooh, that looks nice on my nose. Okay, I think that's enough highlight. It looks good though. That gold finish is giving me life. And of course, guys, everyone talks about this Urban Decay setting spray. It is the Urban Decay All Nighter. And I am like in love with it. I have used it for filming this video. And let me tell you something. When you do your makeup in the morning and it gets to the evening, it's going to look the same because of this beauty. It really does make a difference. So I am in love. I'm in love. So I had to get one of the Fenty lip glosses and this is Fenty Glow. It smells amazing. Look at this go, people. This is almost a full Fenty face, but like not really. <laughs> but I think she's coming out with more and more product and by the end of the year we'll be able to do a whole face of just Fenty. Like so you know Fenty's Fendi's on a roll. Okay, let me get my wig on and let's just look at this final look. Okay guys, so this is my finished look and your girl is happy. I, the match stick, I think I just need to figure out how to apply it properly, but what I was doing worked for me for now because I'm just loving how it's not too much of a glow, it's a subtle glow. It makes my nose tip just pop. And yeah, and I mean obviously you guys know how much I love the Fenty foundation. I think it's just amazing it goes a long way like a little bit of product can spread over your face like crazy but other than that like my eyelashes are popping guys that maybelline great lash mascara is the one it is the one this lip mm. guys when i say it smells so good like there's nothing like product or makeup products that smell good because you also want your face to be smelling nice you know like rihanna has that on lock um and i really like the way i've started you know experimenting with just doing different colors rather than adding shimmer in my eyes and it's you know it's a little bit of a cute not necessarily subtle look but less like but I do love two so yeah I alternate between two but guys this this is the key this is the key to your life so the products let's just go through the products I reviewed today we did the obviously the key to all makeup um, Urban Decay All Nighter. We did the Fenty Lip Gloss, the Pro Filter Primer. We did the Matchsticks, which is the rum. We did Maybelline Great Lash um, Mascara. We did Fenty Beauty Foundation. We did Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. And lastly, as I think I always do, I just do my ColourPop um, palettes. You guys have seen this one before, so yeah. That's it guys. I hope you've enjoyed this makeup tutorial. I've enjoyed trying out these new products. I absolutely love them. Like I cannot stop looking at the way, like my skin just looks so like set and like matte, but not too dry, you know? And I think the setting spray does add moisture. Um, definitely, I will definitely recommend all these products. Um, my Melanin Queens, you know, if you're trying out some new makeup, try out all that I've used and see how it works on you. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I know it's been a minute since I did a makeup tutorial, but you know I'm back. 
and yeah I think my next video will be reviewing some Colourpop colors that I've gotten so yeah stay tuned guys and I'll catch you in my next video